Okay, so we have, we're thinking about a class. Now in the past, we thought about a class as basically a container that we write code in. We said, okay, what was an example of a class we made recently? We did, the, yeah, the purchase calculator. And in this class, how did we get this program to run? We had a what method? We had a main method. And the main method is like the front door to our program because the compiler starts at the first line of main, executes to the end of main, and then it stops. That's how the program is defined. And so from main we could do what? We could call other call other methods uh, like display totals and these manner of things. This was a self-contained program. It was just one class. Each of these methods were declared to be static. And we can think of static as meaning there will only be, or we will never turn this class into an object. What we're going to do today is we're going to make ourselves a special kind of class. And that class is going to become a blueprint for creating donut objects. Okay, so let's think about, um, let's use a, an analogy here. Um, what's your favorite chain restaurant? Chipotle. Chipotle. We've got a vote for Chipotle. Other nominations? Bakersfield. What's that? It's a taco place. Yeah, it's a lot of Bakersfield? Mm -hmm. Who's been to that? Not enough people. <laughs> burger King. Just want a burger. No. Others? Jimmy John's. No. Jimmy John's. That's a little, that's nice. Moe's. Moe's. All right, so. <laughs> McDonald's. So if we, let's, th let's take Chipotle. That's a little bit less. Um, uh, politicized than McDonald's. If you go into Chipotle, what do they almost all have in common? Chain line ordering setup. Yeah, so they've got this, you know, they have that line that you go through. Are the, do the menus look the same? They look pretty similar. So we've got, they all have a menu. They all have that little line uh, trough thing. What was it? I said it's a sign somewhere that tells you what they don't carry right now. Yes. Yes, don't carry, I like that. Don't, we're out of the sign for an extra 75 cents for guacamole or a dollar. Okay, so now what's interesting about Chipotle is that there are thousands of Chipotle stores across this country. Do you think they hire an architect to make each store? No. Elizabeth, we've got to figure out how to work together. Well, the, so tell me more. So building code says that you have to have an architect sign off on a set of drawings before you can build anything. Right. Signing off is different than designing. Signing off in the same design. So in other words, it's like this cookie cutter thing where they come up with the Chipotle design, they make one menu, and they get a graphic designer to get the menu just right, and then they make a whole bunch and send them out to all the stores. So they are using a template or a blueprint to design Chipotle restaurants. Are there differences between them? Yes. What kind of differences? Location, size. Well, location, size. Yep. So they have differences. So we can think about it like this. Just like your donuts, each donut has a flavor, or each donut has a, what do you have on yours, Dylan? What? Some attributes. Yeah, so every donut has a texture, and it may vary in what that texture is. Every Chipotle restaurant has some table configuration. Some of them have more tables than others. In other words, that there exists a Chipotle blueprint that is used to construct each restaurant. We are going to make a blueprint that we will use to construct every virtual Java donut in our compiler. And so what we're going to build is we're going to build the, the blueprint version of our Java donuts. So we can think about it like this. 
We only, how many blueprints do we have for a building? Think conceptually here. How many blueprints, sets of blueprints do you need to make one Chipotle? One. One. How many blueprints do you need to make ten Chipotles? One. We're thinking conceptually here. Okay? So what we're going to design is we're going to write one class, and guess what that class is going to be called? Donut Blueprint. And in that donut blueprint, you're going to design, or you're going to add the attributes that you have marked in your physical donuts. Meaning, we're going to say, any donut that I make with this blueprint will have the attribute of flavor. Or, they all have, and have what? By requiredness. Percent remaining, okay? These are going to become the what's of our donut blueprints. We learned this last time, they were static. Yes, member variables. So what we're going to say is, we'll say, um, for now we're going to say public, not static, public int purse remaining. Are we going to give this a value? Yeah. Initialize it to. Yeah, we, we might have a, a starting value that goes for each donut. That could be done. Um, what about flavor? Public, what type would we use for flavor? What's an example? String. string. Yep, so public string flavor. Are you going to say flavor equals cinnamon here? No, why not? It's a variable, we're getting there, it's a, because this class is a blueprint. So we are designing the structure, we're saying that every single donut object we make will have a flavor. The flavor may vary, it's a variable, but we are saying that this object, this collection of data in computer memory will be organized by these member variables. Okay, so let us cook up this together.